Hello everybody and welcome to your second tutorial on uh, QML GUI programming. This is Joseph. Um, hopefully you have downloaded the right version now and if we go and list I put I downloaded mine to my downloads folder and here it is right here and you can see that we can simply run this by pressing the uh, period forward slash and uh, entering in the name of the file, the executable, of which we are trying to uh, down install right now. Um, and there's something important that I should mention here. If you want to install this system-wide, okay, you're going to have to run it with sudo. But I don't recommend that at this point yet. Later on in the tutorials, I will be recommending that. But at this point, I recommend that you run it without uh, without super user permissions or without administrative permissions in Microsoft um, and you just run it simply uh, as your user um, in this case my user is uh, Joseph as you can see there and so we press enter and we will be greeted by the setup wizard this is very simple to do we press next we specify where we want to uh, install this, and I'm going to put RC after it because it is QT 5.1-RC, um, and we press next. Now here, what, here is also something that I should mention. We can pick what we want to install. We can pick uh, all of them, and that's what we're going to do for this tutorial. But you'll notice later on in our tutorials that we might want to have more than just one cute version, and that's okay. When we install it like that, we'll just not be installing the tools. But for this one, we're going to select it all because we're just getting started out and we're going to press next. We're going to click on the LGPL agreement and we're going to read the whole entire thing and we're going to go through it. And then we're going to click on the thing that says we have read this. And of course, I've read that uh, the LGPL about 50 million times in my life. Um, and now we press next. We're going to press show details to see what we're installing and we press install I'm going to press pause while this installs you can press show details if you'd like installs until it is installed okay so installation finished um, and that's great so we can press next and it's going to say uh, click finish to exit the wizard and you can click to launch Qt Creator and launch the README. I highly suggest launching both of them and making sure that you read the README. Uh, but for this purpose, I'm only going to launch Qt Creator. We press finish. And we wait. And here we go. This is uh, Qt Creator. Yours might look a little bit different, but this is it. Yours will probably be uh, looking like this. And uh, congratulations, you've now installed uh, Qt and Qt Creator, it's IDE. I hope you found this video entertaining and educational. Have a good day, and see you in the next tutorial.